Hey everybody, if you saw one of my other videos that uh, you saw that I was interested in getting a, a Cascadia vehicle tent, I actually submitted uh, a video so I decided to, to do one. instead of get a rack for my Jeep, I've decided to build a trailer. So uh, I'm making this video to uh, kind of uh, give you a timeline or follow my build. Um, again, rather than have a, a rack on my Jeep, it's kind of hard to get the top down and up and back up during the summertime with a rack on there. And I uh, only want to, uh, don't necessarily want the have to put the tent on and off all summer long whenever I uh, don't need it. So here's my uh, pile of steel that I have. I have two inch square tubing that's going to be the the main body of the trailer with inch and a inch and a half square tubing for the sides. Um, one of my friends gave me a lot of the tubing and is helping me with the build. He actually uh, used to build trailers so uh, he has a knowledge on what to do and what not to do. Um, got some of it tacked up today. It's going to be a four foot by six foot um, trailer. I've got some uprights done. I don't have the corner posts yet. Um, again, I want to make sure that uh, one of my friends, Tommy, comes over and takes a look at it before I burn it in. Just make sure everything's square and everything looks right. Uh, hopefully he'll be over tomorrow and we'll get the sides, uh, the corner post up for the sides and maybe get the tailgate made. Um, Here's my springs that I have. Got a tractor supply. They're just uh, 1,750 pound springs. Got the universal spring hanger kit that I'm going to hang from it. Um, here are the hubs that I got. I found these on eBay. They're a do it yourself kit with uh, the spindles. These spindles um, will fit inside two inch square tubing that's quarter inch wall. Um, the hubs themselves are actually a five on five which will uh, fit the stock JK rim. The only thing I found out is the diameter of this hub will not fit inside uh, the rim of the JK. So what I'm going to have to get done is um, have that machined, have this uh, machined here to fit inside the rim so that way I won't have to carry an extra uh, tire for the uh, for a spare. So I plan on using the spare on the Jeep as the spare for the trailer. Um, don't have a lot of high-tech equipment, just a, a chop saw here and I have a uh, a welder, a Pro Mig 135, just using a flux core wire with no shielding gas, um, four inch grinder, and just some other hand tools. Um, so the build's coming along. Um, hopefully, I'm going to get some tires and wheels here within the next couple weeks. I need to get uh, some tubing for the axle, um, and then I'm going to continue on. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, to building this, and um, I can't wait to uh, to get my my tent and my CVT tent to use with this trailer and this combination. I think it's going to look sharp when it all gets done. Uh, I have some uh, uh, Jeep events. Uh, Ocean City, Maryland, there's a Jeep event. Uh, the All Breed Jeep Show in York, Pennsylvania. And I have a couple other closer uh, club events in uh, Chambersburg, Pennsylvania and Waynesboro, Pennsylvania that I plan on using my, my CVT tent uh, on top of my trailer. So uh, hopefully the next time I put a video up here, you'll see some uh, some progress on the trailer. Well, we're making progress on the build today. We got everything welded in. I ground down all the corners and the only thing structurally we're needing is the uh, tailgate yet, but right now we're working on getting it a roller. We got the leaf springs in, the spring hangers tacked, and right now we're working on the axle length, kind of get it up and get the dimensions going. Got our spindle and hub assembly set up. I'm going to run the spacer so that at first I thought I needed to have this machine, but I figured out that if I use the wheel spacer, I'll be able to clear the factory wheels. So that's going to be our setup as far as our axle goes. That's a two by two square tubing that's a quarter inch wall. So we're moving right along. I'm going to have to get one of the spacers machined here. I found out that they're all hub centric design now so I'm going to have to get that machined so that it'll actually be able to fit around the, the hub itself, the trailer hub. So making progress today, it's moving along. Uh, once we get the springs in and kind of in a semi roller then we're going to work on getting the tongue, tongue length in and um, hopefully then uh, still haven't decided on the floor yet. I'm debating what what uh, material to use for that, but uh, it's coming along. So hopefully in a couple more weeks, 
she'll be ready to roll down the road. Well, I got things into a full roller today. Um, just got back from a, a trip out to Western PA turkey hunting. It's uh, on Monday and I have off, but I mocked everything up and got it to a full roller and got it hooked up on the Jeep. So here's a here's a look at it. <clears throat> Still have some um, issues with uh, getting the tailgate square. So what I'm going to have to do is uh, I think some of the metal for the top rail wasn't exactly straight when I welded it on there and so it gave us some issues with the uh, with the tailgate so we squared the tailgate up and then what we're gonna have to do is uh, what we're figuring on doing is getting the tailgate on there and maybe just use the torch and heat some of the side rails or the bottom rail to square everything up but uh, everything's uh, full roller got the uh, leaf springs in got the hubs on got the spacers machine to fit the stock wheels so uh, looks pretty good what I'm going to be working on today is the uh, the length of the pitch I just for right now I'm planning on just running a, a two inch receiver ball and uh, maybe when I get into it a little bit more after I get it up and get it rolling maybe go to a, a pinnel hook type um, hitch but for right now just getting a roller got everything mocked up what I'm gonna do is actually here's my mark for a a box a front box what I'm gonna do is have a a 24 inch uh, wide box and I'm just gonna taper taper back to the corner so that way I have a storage area on the front um, but uh, it's coming along pretty good um, I like the ride height I'm just using a straight two inch receiver I barely just have enough clearance right there at the spare tire but uh, I think it's gonna work out pretty good once I get the um, box on there it'll look pretty good I was able to jackknife the trailer to pass 90 degrees without any clearance issues and that's kinda what my uh, my goal was so that way when you're off-road you won't have any issues but uh, hopefully right on top there's where my CV tent CVT tent is gonna go I'm um, gonna get it going to go with diamond plate so uh, I'm gonna work on it here for a few more hours see what what I, what I can knock out today so definitely looks pretty sharp with the uh, the combo of the Jeep and the trailer so hopefully in the next couple weeks we'll get it get it hammered out